Hi, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to work on the headlights for my 2016 Tesla Model S. Uh, the brow here is actually faded. And that's been bugging me for quite a while now. Um, I went to uh, Tesla to uh, get a quote just on the parts because I can replace them myself. And it was $6,000 plus, dollars, so over $3,000 per headlight. So what I did was I went to uh, eBay, took a look, and found these OEM brand new headlights for 220 US each. Now the interesting thing is I couldn't find the uh, left headlight OEM brand new. So I went to this uh, company called iParts, which I saw on eBay also. And uh, what they get is factory defective lights and uh, they explain it very well that it might be defective uh, but the one I got was actually pretty good I haven't seen a defect at all there we go all right so what we have to do first is uh, we have to take off the covers here I uh, haven't done this before, but uh, what has to happen is you have to actually take the bumper off here to get at the light and the bolts. So this one's pretty easy to snap off. You just have to take all of them off. There's a little rubber padding there, but it just actually comes off right over the padding. See that? Pretty easy. Did it myself with one hand. You don't necessarily have to take the top one off, but we're going to take the top one off because we're going to disconnect the battery. Fans. Uh, so they advise you to take the, uh, they call it a fireman's loop, I believe. Uh, disconnect the battery first, so this has to pop up. And just roll over in there because it's connected with this hose. So you got to be gentle with this because something might crack. It actually flips up yeah, like that. Uh, then the vent comes off pretty easily. Kind of reminds me of, uh, I don't know, a Lego set or something. Once again, just be gentle. And uh, there's the battery there. It looks like it needs a bit of a cleanup anyway, so we'll get in and clean that up. We take the negative off there, and then we disconnect the fire loop there, and then the lights won't work anymore. So that's a safety precaution, so when you disconnect it, it doesn't short it. Uh, so when we look at the bolts and taking the, uh, the lights off, uh, there are, I believe these are 10 millimeter bolts, and there's some hidden underneath. And then if you look at the, uh, the wheel, uh, there's also a uh, 25 torque uh, hex in there that you have to uh, unscrew to get the bumper off. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to disconnect the battery. Uh, to do the, uh, the reason why we do that is for safety precautions, so we don't short the lights. Uh, one thing I am a bit concerned about first, though, is you have to rotate the wheels to get the uh, the um, torque off, the 25 torque. So we're not going to do that yet. Uh, we're going to remove the uh, tw uh, the torque bolt out first behind the wheels, and then we're going to disconnect the battery. All right, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look for that uh, torque bolt underneath the wheel well. Uh, I'm going to flip the camera around. It's also good to have a light. And let's have a look here. See it anywhere? It's going to be the one that meets this together. Yeah, okay. All right, so we found the torque bolt that's connecting the bumper to the body and we're just carefully lefty-loosey yep. perfect there it is nice okay now we gotta do the other side uh, another thing to note is um, under uh, um, the uh, car, there's also some tabs you got to take off and some bolts 
underneath. So we're going to go underneath. You don't have to necessarily jack up the car, but you can see there. Uh, there's a couple of 10 millimeter bolts there that we have to undo. And then uh, we also have to undo these little snaps too. All right, let's do the other side. I was just going to do this 10 millimeter. One thing I also notice is uh, when I start taking the body panels apart, uh, there's a lot of rust in this car uh, when it comes to the bolts. So what I do is uh, typically when I do that, I uh, de-rust them. I use this stuff here. It's pretty good. It's like a gel. You just put it on the bolts. See, these ones are rusted out. And they totally de-rust it. It maintains the car of the bolts. So you can you know, take them out later on. So I do them all whenever I can find them. Uh, another thing I do is just clean up the battery. Uh, you know, you don't see the battery too often, so you should clean it up. All you need is water to do it, and uh, it'll get nicely cleaned up before I actually disconnect it. Here we go. So I just grab a little toothbrush and I just get around with all the areas here and just kind of get the grime and oxidation and all that type of stuff off. Uh, we're getting pretty close to taking the bumper off now, so uh, we just have to take off the 10 millimeter bolts in the front, holding it to the body. Right there. So that's connected to the body. You can see that one there. Invisible. Let's take that off there. Perfect. There it is. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to disconnect the battery. All right, and all you gotta do is disconnect the fireman's loop. There you go. And you're good to go to work on the lights. All right, so uh, we're gonna start pulling off the bumper. And uh, we took off the torque, and it looks like it snaps into place, so you just have to gently unsnap it. There we go. And uh, the harness is on the left side, so usually we actually take off uh, if you're looking at the front of the camera, or we usually take off the right first and then the left. So we're going to have to go over to this side and slowly peel off the bumper. There we go. Apparently it's supposed to be pretty easy, but it's good to be gentle. All right. And the bumper slides off. Just taking off the remaining bolts, as you can see. You want to protect it, uh, and here's that harness they talk about that you should just leave in place, so you don't have to, that's all we got to do. We just need access to the lights, uh, all the bolts, so the next step is taking out one of the headlights. So there's also a harness attached to the headlight too, that snips off. Uh, there's a little clip on it that you have to slowly take off and there's another bolt there it's holding the headlight on apparently you don't have to align these they're already pre-aligned from what I've read so you just take one out put one in um, another thing that uh, was advised was um, before putting all the bolts back in is test your lights first hopefully the new ones work your sensors are going to go mad Uh, one thing you got to do too is because uh, this little piece here is interfering with the light, you got to take the whole thing off to get the light off. There we go. You just have to gently take it out and look at the harness. There's the harness there. There's the light. Sweet. Rock and roll. Let's not get them mixed up. <laughs> Which one? Where do you want it? Next to mine? Yeah, let's put them next to the Camaros <laughs> over there. Put them in the box. We're recycling. Kind of an oxymoron. It's supposed to be a, a green friendly car. Well, you won't. 
place, huh? All right, so that's what it looks like. Yeah, see what's wrong with that. There's a little tab there. So we're going to actually put the new light in now. Um, here it is. And then uh, we're going to take the plastic off once it's installed. So let's see how that goes. So uh, we're going to uh, connect the harness first, I guess, once we have it comfortably in place. Looks like we got the right size, it fits. Stick the harness in place. Hopefully it's the right direction. Snaps in place. And then we're going to slide it in nice and easily. Slide it in like that. There we go. Oh yeah, that was pretty easy. Sure. But the most important thing is to line up all the bolts. It's got to line up all the bolts. to get those brows back. Uh, so we just screwed it in with one bolt to keep it in place. We're going to test in a sec, but we got to take off the other one now. Same process. Now we're slowly taking off the other one. It's hung up on there. You kind of twist it like that. Okay, so you off. twist it and it comes off. And take off the harness. Yeah, okay. She comes. Nice. Yeah. Good. I sell it on eBay. Used. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So Let's, we're gonna uh, connect the fireman's loop first. Uh, you have got to do the fireman's loop first, and then the ground. All right. So we're gonna test the lights now. See if they work. Um, let's have a look. Well, I see him blink. Put your foot on the brake. Yeah, foot's on the brake. Just like a spaceship. There we go. There you go. And here we go. There's the brows. Turn signal. And turn signal. Awesome. Like brand new. Emergency lights, whoa. Awesome. And then, uh, uh, those are the high beams? Yeah, high beams. Yeah. That's looking really good. Look at that. Sweet. Beautiful. Nice. All right. Uh, we got the lights uh, completely installed with all the bolts now, and we're going to put the bumper back on. All right. I don't even know where to start. <sighs> I think you got to start with the left here. I was kind of throwing it on here. Bottom in and then top. Yeah, so you got to put the bottom pan in. It fits in to these sliders in there. And then you put the top in. So you got to move that one in first. The corner in first. And then slide it in. It should go really easy. Don't be afraid of it. And <laughs> we just got a bolt in there. Is the bumper on? All right, so we got uh, the headlights done, replaced. Uh, everything's looking good. I'm really happy about it. Let's take it for a test drive. Looking good.